good morning students um, in this uh, video i'm going to explain the topic a light and em spectra so usually here there is a relation between a light signal and the image so you should know about the um, what is the light spectrum and what is the importance of uh, light signals and then um, what is the chromatic light and what is the chromatic light we should know all these things so that's why here uh, is the topic light and em spectrum here uh, observe this one this is the em spectrum um, in this uh, a very narrow portion is there that is uh, here said to be visible spectrum so that is in between the ultraviolet um, region and infrared region that visible spectrum range is about uh, uh, 0.4 micrometer or uh, 400 around 400 nanometers to the 0.7 micrometer around 700 nanometers so here it starts from violet color and ends with the red color of course so we know that uh, one theory that, is, that was uh, actually discovered by the isaac newton in 1966 he invented one that what is that he had taken one um, prism so uh, in the prism uh, if a light signal is uh, passing through this uh, particular prism that uh, almost that is a white light that prism does not give the white light so it gives a uh, different colors uh, one end is with the violet another end is uh, nothing but red color so here um, that means here our human eye uh, 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 here is a uh, one visible spectrum means here our human eye perceives only the uh, light signals are different colors with the wavelengths in between 0 0.4 uh, micrometers to the 0 0.7 micrometers only right so now here say this uh, so elaborated one so here observe the visible light which is in between ultraviolet and infrared range so here is about almost 380 or 370 nanometers to the 720 730 nanometers almost if you observe this one here uh, we have different colors like a uh, vibgr violet uh, indigo blue green yellow orange red and uh, each has a certain wavelength range and uh, if you observe the color no one color um, ends with the abrupt uh, uh, one that means uh, no color suddenly uh, ends with such uh, ends with sudden uh, ends with one wavelength am i correct that means here this blue or uh, this uh, what is this uh, violet slowly merges with the next one and then uh, uh, that here indigo also merges with the blue slowly and then that means here so many variations are there in the blue also in the violet also in the green also light to dark like that uh, here also th this green mixes with the yellow and then that uh, yellow uh, slowly uh, um, varies um, according to the particular wavelength right so here uh, is the one here so uh, we may get one doubt here where is the white and black colors right we have um, uh, different colors in the visible spectrum but uh, where is white and where is black right so here we uh, should know about this see this here is a light signal right so light signal nature is uh, nothing but like a em wave so it has certain amplitude and it has certain wavelength right so that means here what is the wavelength here the wave um, uh, the distance traveled by the wave to complete one full cycle right that is nothing but the wavelength that depends on uh, actually uh, frequency like uh, lambda is equal to c by f where c is the speed of the light right we know all the things here now here uh, see this um, light is a particular type of electromagnetic radiation that can be sensed by the human eye the visible band of the em spectrum spans the range from 0.43 micrometers around violet to about around 0.79 micrometers 
that means the red color the colors that humans perceive in an object are determined by the nature of the light reflected from the object that's a very important one see this here um, humans perceive the different colors in an object right so here that that one that color nature depends on the nature of the light reflected from the object that means usually if you see this uh, any object here if you see this one in this we have so many colors right so many colors okay so black red yellow like that so why uh, our eye uh, that means uh, perceives the color this one is the what is this this is the yellow right so this is the what is that red and this is the what is that orange right so in what way actually here this is considered this one is an object one object here under the light under the light so here the particular light signal from the source what is the source here what is the source here the, this tube light right so here the tube light is the illumination source right so here under this illumination source one light is uh, what is that uh, touched this object right the light is passing uh, through this uh, object actually it, it, the light touches this object here this object um, actually uh, consumes some light energy and and gives some light energy right or emits some light energy from this object so that means here actually whatever if the object uh, light signal is uniform actually so here the object consumes certain light energy and gives certain uh, or emits or reflected some light signal the if that signal wavelength is if that signal wavelength that signal is here light signal wavelength is here like uh, what is that in between these six uh, what is that almost 580 to six uh, uh, 50 or something rough rough values in between those wavelengths then it may appear like a yellow right yellow okay so in this way here if it can observe this red here in this at this point the object absorbs the light energy right from the illumination source and some light signal is reflected back from this object that will be in the range around this range right so in then in, in this manner right you can human eye perceives the different colors from the object right so that is the point here what is that the colors that humans perceive in an object are determined by the nature of the light reflected from the object so a body uh, it's okay right now the question is uh, what is the white and what is the color black right so in the visible spectrum we do not have the white and black colors but we we may uh, feel the colors what is that white and black so where these two colors are, are um, gone right so here is the something what is that here this is nothing but white right this is nothing but black that means here the object so it appears like a black means in this case the object absorbs all the light energy it does not give any light the light any light signal that means that that, that do not uh, uh, what is that uh, reflect reflect from this object right so here the uh, this object right so absorbs all the light signal which does not give any light signal in such a case it appears like a black right so now see this white nature white nature means here so when the object does not absorb absorb any light energy but gives the balanced colors right it gives the particularly all the uh, light energy the in such a case it appears like a what is that white color so that means here a body that reflects light relatively balanced in all visible wavelengths appears white to the observer okay right now coming to the here uh, two different types of um, uh, lights are there so those are achromatic light and chromatic light so here what is the achromatic light and what is the chromatic light 
Achromatic light means here the light that is void of color is called the achromatic light and it is called uh, and it is also called as monochromatic. Okay, so that means here uh, um, he, he, this particular achromatic light. So we can estimate this achromatic light based on the uh, only one attribute that is nothing but intensity or amount. So here um, uh, those are nothing but actually uh, black to white. Some black color slowly goes to the white. That means in between we have the we have um, uh, uh, we have the different gray shades. Those are called as uh, gray grays, right? Gray levels like this: black, gray, white. Okay. That means here. The range of measured values of monochromatic light from black to white is nothing but grayscale. So monochromatic images, almost these are grayscale images. Chromatic light or uh, color light. So in the previous case, the light, the light that is void of color, right? That is nothing but monochromatic light. Now coming to the chromatic light, that is also called as color light, spans the EM range spectrum from 0.43 micrometers to about 0.79 micrometers. So here uh, we can um, estimate this color light or chromatic light based on the following quantities. Those are nothing but frequency, radiance, luminance and brightness. So okay, here say this, we know the frequency actually um, from the wavelength. We can easily find out the frequency uh, from the formula. What is that? Lambda is equal to C by F. F is equal to C by lambda, of course. And then here, coming to the radiance, what is the radiance here, which is measured in watts, the total amount of energy that flows from the light source. That is nothing but the radiance. Actually, light source is there. So whatever the, it emits, the particular light energy, the total amount of uh, light energy that flows from that particular illumination source is nothing but the radiance. Coming to the luminance, which is measured in lumens, so that, that, that is nothing but actually the light uh, source or illumination source emits certain light energy, but observer perceives right here uh, some energy right that is not the flow of the whatever the light energy uh, emits uh, observer could not uh, uh, get total amount of energy actually that means here measure of the amount of energy an observer perceives from a light source right that is nothing but luminance so brightness next one is Brightness, it is a subjective descriptor of light perception that is practically impossible to measure. Since here, brightness means we cannot um, measure the particular brightness of the light. We can say like this, that is the uh, darkness, dark uh, when brightness is a very high, brightness is very low, light like that. We can say like that only. That is a subjective descriptor of the light. We just feel the particular um, uh, light based on that we can estimate the brightness of the light right so thank you